Welcome to another video in the SAP S4 HANA Credit Management Playlist. In the video today, I will run a full demo for a simple credit management process in SAP S4 HANA 2020. This way, you get to see how the process looks like on SAP S4 HANA. Then in the next videos, I will go into more details. For the demo today, I will use one customer business partner for which I'm going to maintain a credit limit. Then I'm going to create sales documents that exceed the credit limit value so we can see how SAP is going to block these documents. Then I will display the blocked sales documents in documented credit decision, which is a separate component integrated with credit management that we use to monitor and approve the blocked sales documents. And I will show you the impact of all of this on the credit management reporting through the process. We can run this process on both SAP GOI and SAP Fury. In this video, I will continue with SAP GOI. I am also going to publish another video doing the same demo on SAP Fury, which will only be available to the channel members. I will start by showing you the master data of the business partner used in the demo today. To display the business partner master data, we use transaction BP. Here we can insert any selection criteria we want. I am searching by the number of the business partner and the business partners I am looking for start with AGCM. So I have here AGCM and asterisk. This will show all the business partners in the system that have numbers starting with AGCM. Then click on start. And the one I will be using is this one, AGCM04. Double click. To display the credit management master data of the business partner, you have to choose the rule UKM000 SAP credit management. This is the standard SAP business partner rule for credit management. Once you select it, you will be able to see these two tabs under general data. So this data is general on the client level. It's not related to any company code or any segment. Once you select the credit management rule, go to credit profile tab. Here we have the credit score. I'm not going to explain the details of the master data today. Again, the objective of this demo is that you see how the system works end to end. Then in the next videos, we will go into more details. The important thing for me now is the score. And here we have the risk class. So this one has a score 80 and it is a low default risk. Then we go to credit segment data. And this is where we maintain the credit limit. So the credit limit is maintained on the level of every credit segment. We will explain this later. Now I will go to the change mode. And here, as you see, we have a credit limit of 30,000 and we have a credit exposure of 48,000. So this customer has already consumed all the credit limit and more. I'm going to raise the credit limit to, let's say 60,000. So we can see how the system is going to block the sales documents. And once I select that I want to increase the credit limit, I have a function activated in the system that someone has to approve this increase. There are many ways to request an increase to the credit limit of a customer. There is another process that, that we can use where we create a request and then it is approved by someone. This is another option that we maintain in the master data. Then someone has to go to the master data and approve it. And we can actually cancel both of these options and just allow the maintenance of credit limit in the master data directly without approval. To approve this increase to the credit limit, I will click on this. And now the customer has a credit limit of 60,000 and the credit exposure is the same. This is the value of the open items for this customer, but the utilization percentage is 80%. Now save the master data and let's start creating sales orders. To create a sales order, the transaction is VA01. The order type OR, I'm using sales organization, solution channel and division, enter. Sold to party is AGCM04. The item I am selling is FG01. This item has a price of 50 EUR per piece. Now let's say we are going to sell two units. This means the total value is 100 EUR. So if we insert two here, enter. The total value of the order is 100 EUR and we did not receive any messages related to credit management because the customer still has some credit limit available to uh, create the sales order. But let's say that I'm going to change this to 2000 units, for example. So the total value now exceeds the credit limit available to the customer. So we get this message, credit segment AG3000. This is the credit segment on which we maintain the credit limit. For business partner AGCM04, this is the customer number. The credit limit is 60,000 exceeded by 88,000. So if we save this order, the customer will, ha will exceed the credit limit allowed. I can click on OK. And I can decide also to save the order if I want. 
there are options in the system that we can make this message an error message so the user cannot actually save the order at all but in my configuration now this is allowed so I will save and I will get the message again so I will click on OK and the order has been saved now this order has been sent to documented credit decisions the other component that we can use to control the blocked sales documents when we display this sales order so if we go to sales document display and then we go to header status you see here that we have overall blocked status blocked and the overall credit status is not approved so if anyone tries to use this sales order now to create an outbound delivery they will not be allowed so if we take this order and go to transaction VL01N to create an outbound delivery and we try to create an outbound delivery for the order we get this error message order blocked for delivery as a result of credit check so no one can proceed until an authorized person approves this sales order now let's go to documented credit decisions to go there we use the SAP menu accounting financial supply chain management credit management documented credit decisions and here we have cases in SAP credit management and my documented credit decisions I will go to cases in SAP credit management to display the blocked sales documents we go to cases documented credit decisions search and here we can insert any selection criteria we want I will use my business partner number AGCM04 and then click on search and these are all the cases available for my business partner the one that we just created is 3838 this is the sales order number and the value is 100,000 I can select multiple cases from here and either release or reject directly or I can go to a specific case to see more details to see this we double click on the case ID and these are all the details you can also see in the linked objects the document with credit block and this is the sales document if we double click here it will take us to the sales document display so we can see all the details we want then we'll go back and we can decide to approve or reject the document first we need to go to the change mode then click on this icon and choose release or reject before releasing the document let's go to the master data of the business partner so we can see the details of the credit exposure so we can see the impact of this as you see here we still have credit exposure of 48,000 it was not updated to 88,000 yet why because the sales order is blocked so as long as the sales order is blocked it will not impact our credit management reporting it will not be reflected in the exposure until it is released if we click here we can see the details of this exposure here we see that the customer has open orders for the value of 5,500 and the open outbound deliveries for 42,000 so the open orders are only 5,000 even though we just created a sales order for 100,000 but it's not reflected here because it is still not released now let's go back and release this sales order to see the impact the document has been released and we can no longer edit the case everything is dimmed now let's go back to our business partner master data and display the credit exposure details now you see we have open orders for 100 5500 and if we go inside you will see the details of why we have this open value this is the very basic process flow of credit management not only the sales orders are blocked by the way we can also block outbound deliveries and goods issues so there are many other options available in the process I will never be able to cover them all in the same video but now you have an idea of the overall flow of the process in the system in the next videos we will go into more details I hope you found this video useful don't forget to check the full playlist here or click here to see the next video you can also check other recommended videos up there thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon